The objects of this story are simple enough. <laughs> Opportunity for a formal goodbye. You once asked me how we should describe our love. If you invite a serpent into your home, perhaps you shouldn't be surprised if it bites you. Please remember, our veterans are the fabric of our nation. Our next reader requires no introduction. I've often said that war is not the end, but the beginning of the violence. No one needs a war poet anymore. Robert, what about your writing? I'm yesterday's news. How are you feeling? Steady as a rock. Robert, you are a highly successful writer. We're just going through a dry spell. She's just won the group's top literary prize. Well, it's different from anything else I've read. But she's looking to move to England. We should ask her to come stay with us. Perhaps you two can work on a project together. Miss Riding, welcome to World's End. <laughs> this talented husband of yours must write again. Here's to a long, prosperous, beautiful partnership. Two women under one roof. How do you find time to write? Laura and I are collaborators. Nothing more. What are you after? You know, I could ask you the very same question. Your friends don't respect me. I think you are extraordinary. If you're not gonna live with passion, you don't belong in this new world. What is it that Laura does to please you? What does she do to me? This is our new friend, Jeffrey Phipps. It's a very talented young poet. Nancy is trying to destroy the Holy Circle. Uh, I want nothing to do with it. Do you understand? Can't you see? First Laura wanted you. Now she wants me. I see everything. Everything. Nothing escapes me. Stay away from her before she destroys you. 